Hi, this is Stu with uh, talking to Cameron, talking to you guys at Tweaktown uh, for Via Technologies, and we're here at Lunch at Piero's in Las Vegas. Now, 2009 was a really important year for Via. It was a hard year, as, uh, as it was for most people, but it, it was very crucial for us that we got on, we got on uh, some really important devices from the top tier OEMs, most notably Samsung and Lenovo. These two devices really help to validate the Via Nano platform and show the world that it's actually a very compelling platform that outperforms most of our competitors in this space. Uh, moving on to 2010, we've actually updated the platform. We, we've announced the Via 3000, the Via Nano 3000, which is uh, approximately 20% better performance overall, 20% better power efficiency also. In this demo, we have a demo here where the, where the Via Nano 3000 is paired with the Via VN 1000. And that's our latest uh, North-South Bridge desktop chipset. And the great thing about this is the IGP. This is what we're, we're describing as an industry-leading IGP. Uh, it, it seems to, I won't mention any names or any competitors, but uh, it's the best IGP at the market. In, in most of the benchmarks we're seeing, it's, it's streets ahead of what most of our competitors are doing. It's a DX10.1, supports the latest OpenCL and OpenGL platforms as well. But of course, Avia were always focused on small. Small is beautiful for us. And this year, small is beautiful also in HD. And over here, we have an example. Let me just get this started. This here is the Via Amos, and it's a, a system based on, excuse me, based on this Pico ITX board right here. This is the Pico P820 with a Via Nano chip and the VX855 uh, medium system processor. So this guy is inside here. He works with a few daughter boards, uh, one on the front here, one on the back. So you can add additional I.O. Here we've got comm support. Here we've got USB, audio, HDMI, LAN, two USBs, and a VGA port. And this is a demo of... This, this demo here. Sorry. Sorry? Yep, sorry. And, and this, we have a working demonstration of this system here. And it's playing a, uh, a high bit rate H.264 video in 1080p. And as you can see, the CPU usage is really low, which is quite outstanding for a system this small and something this compact. This, of course, is designed primarily for the embedded industry. So it's entirely fanless, it's totally solid, there are no moving parts inside. It uses a com flash here, so it doesn't even have a hard drive, a traditional hard drive with a spender at least. Okay, um, as well as Pico ITX, of course we have Nano ITX, Mobile ITX, and recently this year we've also announced the incredibly small Mobile ITX. Now Mobile ITX works a little differently from these guys, which would be a, a single board PC. This is a computer on module, which means that the embedded developers will develop an, uh, a carrier board with all the I.O. So, so your VGA, your HDMI, audio, e networking, connectivity, all of these things will be designed on a custom-made carrier board, which the developer can then just pop in basically the computer or the brain, which saves an enormous amount of time and energy because it's the same chipset, it's the same platform. They can just very cheaply and very effectively and quickly design a carrier board for whatever device they want to use. Okay, so here you've got a very, a, a, specially, a special miniature version of the VSC7. You've got the, uh, v, this is a, a VX820 chipset. And here we've got some RAM, so they're actually the system, the DDR2 system uh, memories on board already. Okay. Thank you very much. Cheers.